What's up and welcome to the next episode of Spill the Key. Uh, I'm here with Waves. Hello. Uh, and today we're talking about pugging. Um, just uh, as a side note, uh, we are uh, thinking about talking about other WoW-related topics, uh, not WoW-related topics as well. And if you're interested in that, just let us know so we can consider that for the future episodes. So Waves, what do we mean when we talk about pugging? Um, with pugging, we mean playing the content of WoW, the, all the content in that matter, like arenas, mythic plus, raids, everything with random people. So not in a, in a group with friends that you know and always play with, but with different people all the time that you pick up from the dungeon browser or yeah, in general from the from the chat or something. And yeah, you just play with people that you don't know and you play with different people all the time. Yeah, hence the name Pug Pickup Group. Um, now, why um, do you Pug? So what's the incentive to, to do content with a pickup group instead of uh, playing with the same people uh, over and over again? I mean, I have content that I don't pack, like the raids. I'm in a raiding guild and I'm really happy that I don't pack raids since I really like the environment of a guild where you know the people that you play the content with and you have like a family and friend sort of relation to them and that's really nice. I really like that. But on the other hand, I'm pugging Epic Plus as you can see in my videos and I mean, there are things that I hate and there are things that I like about pugs. For example, I don't like that I always have to rely on different people that I don't know if they play good or if they don't play good. So it's always kind of a risk to play with different people. But it's also great to, to play with different people to get to know them. Maybe you find friends through pugging and maybe even um, find people that you want to start a Mythic Plus group together. So I think pugging can be a, a great key for something that is far greater than pugging itself, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I think in, in the raid environment it's uh, really great if you don't have to pug because uh, you are relying on 20 people showing up on time and uh, yeah, doing a good job for the next three or four hours that you're raiding. And if you know the people, you can uh, much better communicate about uh, stuff, uh, coordinate stuff, and that makes it just easier to, to do that content. I think uh, arenas uh, especially or, or um, yeah, Mythic Plus, where you don't need as much people and the things you, you have to plan are far less, um, pugging is a great option. Good work, man, yeah. Um, and just a second, um, can you heal the Earth Elemental? Uh, I'll try. Because <laughs> I think we can do this pack. Yeah, I think so. The too. Earth uh, you don't have to kick the Vapors, I can just um, cleanse them, soothe them. Okay. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you. You can yeah, go on. No, no worries. Um, for example, uh, most of my arena games I packed, and it's uh, a really um, fast and efficient way to climb. Of course, you, you get to, to some boundaries, like at 2.1, 2.2k rating, you should probably start to play with the same person over and over again, hit voice communications, and uh, yeah, get to know each other so you can. Uh, know what to expect from them, but for lower ratings and um, even mid to high ratings, um, pugging is, is a really good way to, to get into the content. I think the same applies for Mythic Plus as well. Uh, doing lower or yeah, keys like a 15 or something is easily um, doable in a, in a pug group and um, a lot easier to, to do than searching for a group that you play like three or four times a week with and then uh, working your way up to, to a 15 or something like that. 
So you don't really need that to do this content. But if you want to climb and uh, yeah, improve your radar O score at some point, you'll have to find uh, people to play with more regularly. Yeah? Otherwise, you, you don't have a chance to do that. So, there are so what you to, say, it's uh, fair pugging. to say that pugging is like the entrance tool to some content? Yeah, I think that's a great way to put it. Um, to get into content, the easiest way by far is to just open the group finder, find a group, and then uh, do it with them and see if you like it. But if you want to really improve and, and, and do the best that's possible in, in that type of content, you, you'll be forced to find a group at some point. That's yeah, my opinion. I think that's least. true. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, you could see how good we played as we played Arena together. I mean, in twos, Resto, Druid, Enhancement Shaman isn't really a good comp, but I think we made it we made it work pretty good for our skill level at least. And I think most of that came from communication and from knowing each other. Yeah, I think that played a big part. Um, but um, one of the problems we encounter is getting from that uh, pack point uh, to, to a group that you play regularly with. And um, I think we are not the only ones that uh, experience this problem. I think that's pretty widespread. And why do you think uh, that is? I think that um, for a lot of people it's just um, laziness that they are, yeah, as I said, too lazy to search oh, for people it? to play with. Uh, yeah. Okay, you can Am accept. I safe? Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, they are too lazy to take the time to find people because it can, in fact, take quite some time to find good people to play with or even find people in general to play with. They don't have to be good necessarily. I think it's pretty healthy for your gameplay if you find people on the same skill level as you and learn together. For example, if you have like, I don't know, like 600 Mythic Plus score, you shouldn't be looking for a group with like 1,500 Mythic Plus score to like boost you. I think you should look out for people that are on a similar skill level as you are, so you can improve and play together. And I think that a lot of people also are scared to search for people because mm -hmm. they have the impression that um, that they are not good enough to have like some serious group where, where they can play together because they see it on YouTube and on Twitch that all these good MDI players have these groups they always push with and maybe they see themselves as like bad players and think that they are not um, fitting for that content or that type of playing the content and I think that's pretty bad to think that I think you should you should find friends to play the content that you like with and make it even more fun for yourself to play that content. Uh, yeah, I, I'd definitely um, sign that. For example, um, some keys that we did, the, the higher keys in the 90s and 20s, we parked, uh, I think 90% of the time we failed. Um, but uh, it was just fun because we could talk about the key, what we did wrong, maybe some big mistakes we, we made that are really embarrassing, uh, um, embarrassing in hindsight. But um, just because we, we talked to each other and did it together, it was a fun experience and we do it again, I think. And we do it again uh, on a regular basis. Um, and I think that's really uh, the core thing about uh, playing with a, a regular group. That's just that you get to know each other, get friends, um, find friends in the game and uh, do the, the things you both or you all enjoy. Yeah, I think I wouldn't have gotten that much into Mythic Plus if it wasn't with you. So, yeah, I mean, of course we don't have a, a full Mythic Plus group that we run keys all the time together. But just the fact that we are two people that always play together, I think that um, makes it a lot more fun and a lot more enjoyable. And I really think that we should 
look into getting a full Mythic Plus group if there's any chance of us doing that. Yeah, I mean, we, we have a lot of friends that are playing the game as well, but um, they aren't really interested in pushing high keys, and that's perfectly fine. Other things like farming mounts and stuff like that, we, we do with them and, and it's fun, but we need to find people that are having the same goals that, that we have. For example, pushing really, really high Mythic Plus keys and being the, the yeah. best in our uh, role. And, uh, that's and I really think important that there's, when you look for people that you want to play with. There's a lot with. playing into that than just personal goals. I mean, the time that you have to invest into the game, the time that you have for playing, um, if you can play in the evening or in the morning, you know what I mean? So even yeah. though you have the same goals, there can be different factors that hinder you from playing together. Now, yeah, right. There are additional requirements that you need for, for a group to work. And yeah. finding these people that you can do that with is uh, really hard. That's why we haven't done it yet either. I mean, we, we both play together, but we need three more people at least to play with. And I think that's a good point, um, Edward, where we can uh, look at how that's done. How do we find other people? What would you recommend? Um, do you have any ideas? <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty hard question. I mean, you always see the occasional Mythic Plus group opened up in the tool where it says, I'm player XY and I play this spec and have this red IO score and I'm looking for a Mythic Plus group. But I'm not really a fan of that method. I mean, it's a good method and it's easy to find people that way, I think. But um, I like meeting people the old-fashioned way more so to say so if you play a key together and you're like oh you play really good maybe we should play together sometime and get to know people that way which is pretty hard actually because um, chances are you you meet people that are like speaking a different language and are from a different country which makes it pretty hard to build a mythic plus group with them because I mean we can all speak English of course but it's um, it's way easier for us to have a mythic plus group with five German speaking people because it's yeah you don't have to focus um, on talking all the time in your mythic plus and can just focus on playing the game which should be the focus when you're trying to push high keys so yeah the language barrier is like another ethics you have to deal with. Just <laughs> yeah. thinking about how to say the thing you want to say in another language and then saying it, uh, it costs so much time and uh, therefore it's so much easier to just do it in your native language. One. Um, but I think that's a really good point that you uh, mentioned there, that you have to talk to the people you played with. Um, after every dungeon run there are like one or two minutes where everyone in the group is just sitting there looking at their loot, maybe uh, looking at the loot of the other people and thinking about what they can uh, grab from that. And uh, that's the point in the dungeon where you could uh, just ask the people you enjoyed playing with, hey, do you want to play another key? Um, or maybe the one we just got from this run here or something else. And hey, can I add you on my friends list? And if I need another tank next time, uh, can I hit you up? And by that you, if you do that regularly and uh, see yourself in the uh, role to do that, um, then you can slowly build a network of people that may, after some time, become your friends and um, uh, people you play with on a regular basis. With. Yeah, and I encourage and recommend everyone to talk to the people. Be nice, don't be a dick in the key. Just be nice to the people and tell them that you like playing with them or what they did good and ask them to play more. Just be a, just be good people and meet some friends and you will have a lot more fun in the game. I mean, I didn't know Sigva like one, one year ago, two years ago. And we were just raiding in the same guild and got to know each other a little bit. Uh, and I got hit by the Shocking Claw because I'm a good player. <laughs> and then we started playing together and now we're friends and play together pretty much every day. And yeah, I think that's I think what you should, should try as well.
we can do this. Yes, just waiting for this claw. Okay, it wasn't in my direction, but just to make sure I don't die again. Yeah, I think it's best to play safe in those situations. Let's just finish the boss and then continue talking about perks. <laughs> I don't want to end the key here. Yeah, let's focus for a second. I was really torn uh, when I got killed because there was a football lying around and nobody went for it. And I was wondering, hey, why is nobody going for it? We, we should kick it into the boss. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, I quickly realized why they didn't. Um, yeah, but it worked out. Okay, big ish pull. I'm waiting 20 waiting seconds for cooldowns. Yeah, maybe you should just do the pack separately and you don't have to wait for the cooldowns. Yeah, oh I god, mean... I'm really afraid of this pull, actually. Yeah, I don't have cooldowns. I just use them on the boss. And those packs, they can just randomly, randomly one-shot people when they are raging. And I can't soup them all. It's not possible. Try to focus star, so I can soup it instantly and maybe we can kill it really fast. Yeah, trying. Yeah, I think worked out good. Oh my god. That's the darkness call. Darkness. Oh. I'm just finishing off the small ones. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Yeah, another thing I can really recommend when you're playing with pugs um, is getting into boys. I know it's uh, not really the first thing you think about, but voice chat makes keys so much easier. And um, just because you can call up a little things like I just did with that focus call or um, you want a defensive CD or the rock elemental which would be really great at the moment if you could place it. Yeah, it's out. Oh my god, 43 stacks on the tank, you want to have that? Yeah. Oh, it dies. Ah. Yeah, I'm they kiting, just demolish it. And lining. And doing all the things. <laughs> um, yeah, boys, what you just said. Um, I think a lot of people, me included, are to some extent like anxious when it comes to going into voice with people. It's not the, the thing I like the most about um, playing with different people, but um, I do it from time to time again, and I think that I get better at it. And I think that's um, a nice thing, a nice thing to notice that you don't really like doing something that much, but you give it a shot every time, and you try your best to make it work. And maybe you like it in the end. And for example, last week, where the keys were pretty easy, I was in voice with some people I met through the last week and I really liked it and I got to know them and I really liked talking to them even though I wasn't sure about my English and yeah that I didn't know the guys and stuff like that but I just said fuck it I'm gonna do it and as it turns out I really like doing it so I mean don't stay what's it. going to happen don't. they they won't uh hunt you down uh, in real life and uh, punch you because the English was so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't really lose anything. So yeah, yeah definitely true. do it. If you can. Yeah, That's what I want um, to tell the viewers. You should always just get out of your comfort zone and just step by step try something new every time and find stuff that you like, that you first thought you wouldn't like. That's my advice to you. And it's great, they, they watch an episode of Spill the One. Key and get a free lifestyle coaching session as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty important to have those as well. Yeah, that's true. Okay. I think this is a boss fight where we should take a second and focus. Yeah, I think so too. Especially because I get uh, chased by uh, like four mobs as well. <laughs> 
Although I think it's a good time to talk about something that we got um, a comment about and that is that we should um, um, we should help you guys learn a little bit of uh, German and do that by bringing you two German words that you can learn from us every episode. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a fun little feature. Uh, you can tell us if you enjoy it or not. Um, so what's your word of the week, Waves? Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest. <laughs> I, I hope that you would start, since you said you already had one in mind. So why don't you just start? Uh, okay, then. Um, the word I want to uh, teach you today is uh, Lebkuchen. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we talked a little bit about it, and um, yeah, that's uh, a treat uh, special to the Christmas time of year. Uh, I think the translation would be gingerbread, but I, I'm not sure if it, it's 100% uh, the same thing. Um, I think it is. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's it's called Lebkuchen in German, um, like living cake or, or bodily cake. I don't know where where it stems from, but uh, I've I think that's a, a really fun way to put it, just because it's this um, uh, s sweet and, uh, and it's got an interesting name. I don't know, I haven't thought too much about it, but uh, I just uh, <laughs> think it's a fun word and uh, now you know it too. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty fitting for the current month. And I always liked Christmas really much. It's one of my favorite holidays. and. There was a time in my life where I used to say Christmas isn't a holiday, it's a way of life. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I just really like Christmas. the Christmas way of life. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine you running around with, like, uh, Christmas tree decorations around your neck and, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, throwing uh, Lametta, it's called in Germany, I don't know what the English word is, <laughs> uh, at people. Look it up, you have another German word. <laughs> I mean, Christmas decoration is pretty cool, to be honest. I really like it, and I like Christmas music and the smell of the food that you eat on Christmas. So yeah, and um, fitting for that, I will just teach you the German word for Christmas, which is Weihnachten. And That's quite a cop out, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm a pretty creative guy, but not every day, so. <laughs> Sometimes, um, yeah, I'm not that creative, so, yeah. Now you know that Christmas is Weihnachten, and as I say that, I noticed that English is um, the word I like more. I think Weihnachten doesn't sound as well as Christmas. Yeah, it especially doesn't sound as festive. Um, it sounds pretty basic. Yeah. It could be the name of, oh, oh my god, let me... Res here. Uh, no, I don't get the res out. And Yonk is re isn't ready, is it? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Oh, okay. No. Rogue got NG CR. That's okay. nice. So we can chill for a second. <laughs> and talk about Weihnachten. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about Weihnachten. Um, the, the thing about Christmas is uh, I, I really like the things surrounding it. Like... Um, yeah, the, the smells, the food, um, just spending time with the people you love. Um, but what I don't like about it is the preparation. Like uh, buying Christmas presents for, for all the important people in your life and really having to think about what do you want to uh, give to them. And um, yeah, just all the shopping malls being way too full because everyone is in that same mood. Um, Finally, after some years, I, I got my friends and family to, to chill about it and, and only uh, exchange prisons if they prisons uh, presents <laughs> if they <laughs> if they if they find something that they would really like to to give to, to me or that I would like to give to them. So you don't feel forced to to exchange something um, and only do it if you if you really want to and really find something that you think is worth gifting. And that makes it a lot more enjoyable, but um, yeah, the other things are quite annoying for me, to be honest. Yeah, and to 
come back to the topic of pugging. I mean, you said you like that you can celebrate Christmas with your family. I mean, you wouldn't want to celebrate Christmas with four strangers. So, that's one so reason. So you think I shouldn't pack my Christmas? <laughs> Okay, that's that's the great advice we we give you for this week. Don't park your Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, parking Christmas probably not the best idea. And yeah. Well, if you do I it at like a soup kitchen out or of something. The park world in general. I mean, a lot of stuff would be more enjoyable if you would be out of the parking world, in my opinion. And yeah, so as we would say in German, so wird ein Schuh draus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so have fun explaining that to the audience. Yeah, I think I'll just not explain it. <laughs> okay, if, them, if you want to Google it, I'll put it to the <laughs> video description. Because yeah. I mean, I'm sure you you won't uh, type it correctly on the first time, no offense. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a funny German saying. Um, yeah. yeah, so uh, we, we talked about uh, inviting uh, people that you've played with again to your, to your next groups. Do you think we should invite anyone from this group to our next run? Um, that's a tough question because, <laughs> to be quite honest, I'm Dude. just not paying any attention <laughs> to, what, Me to the gameplay. I'm just, I'm just yeah. so happy that this <laughs> boss died. I was. And really really panicking at some moments because I just had no <laughs> idea what was happening at the moment. Yeah, I mean, gladly we had bloodlust for this boss. Yeah, unlike last time. We learned from our mistake. Yeah, this seems pretty manageable. I was about to say something really rude. I wanted to say that I don't need to add some of these people in this group because they are meta specs and there are enough of them. Yeah, that's but true to be honest. People are re-rolling. But you should always but... respect the individual, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. If it's but not yeah, a vengeance, I, I Demon Hunter. I didn't talk to them, so... Uh, not vengeance, uh, Havoc, I mean. Havoc, yeah. We are I'm in fight. as well. Um, yeah, great. I don't know why. Maybe because we added that. I mean, adding another group doesn't help. <laughs> That's true. Maybe it was this crawler mine back here. Maybe. But I think the rogue just ran into them, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. Glad we got video footage of it. We can check afterwards. Yeah, as if I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in your extensive post-production, <laughs> there must be time to uh, <laughs> uh, look at those things. Okay, we're not in fight anymore. Great. Nice. I pull down to avoid sneak past. Alles klar, machen wir. Ja, cool. Uh, ist natürlich nice, dass er von mir wegläuft mit seinem Shroud. Ja, ne? Das war ganz großes Kino auf jeden Fall, wie man in Germany sagt. <laughs> <laughs> just, just say everything in German. Except Even the, Deutschland. Even that's how you say it in German, but just saying it in German. Yeah. I think that's the way to go, to be honest. Uh, I can maybe... No, I can't resume. Is there any way we can save it? Or oh, the rogue is up here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. we're fine. <laughs> okay. We just gotta wait a minute for the combat rest, so we got <laughs> some time to talk. <laughs> oh my god, this <laughs> run. Yeah. I just go shopping and <laughs> cook something for myself. <laughs> yes. <Easy plus. laughs> okay, as you can see, um, talking English in our keys uh, is something hindering us from playing to our best. Uh, extent. Yeah, it is. So, it is. if you're looking for a pug group, please, just please look for people in, uh, speaking the same language. You'll make your life so much uh, easier. Yeah, but it's one reason why we do this series, to improve our English. So, maybe one time we can play keys and talk in English and don't screw everything over. 
there thinking about either resing you or me because they think I'm in a too dangerous position, but I think it should be fine. Yeah, there's a mine next to me. But it doesn't look aggressive. Yeah, I don't think they move at all. I mean, otherwise we just wait another 9 minutes for the next CR. <laughs> it was... Okay, I thought he attacked the mine and was in combat now. That would be pretty stupid. Yeah, I mean, if it exploded and killed him, that would, <laughs> would have been stupid. Okay, let me rest the rest of us and then do the last boss. Oh. Warrior said uh, it's a shit dungeon and I think I'll agree with that. It's an interesting concept, but uh, here's here are so many things that just fuck you up. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. I think you wanted to clear close. it so we're safe yeah, for... Yeah. yeah, CBI random death. I think I agree with that. Okay, let's go. Two, one. Let's make this an easy in time. Yeah, we should be able to do that in like nine minutes. Yeah. Okay, we got that six minutes. So uh, yeah, that should be fine as well. By the way, yeah, it's isn't it funny how we always have these breaks in talking? Even though if we talk privately, we have these breaks, and all of a sudden, just start talking at the same time. <laughs> no matter how long the break was, if it was like a minute or ten seconds, we always just start at the same second. But yeah, uh, go ahead. Um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you something about my professional gameplay here. Um, okay. Because as you can see, uh, I'm I'm not moving at all. Uh, I'm standing in the spot because it's safe. Uh, all the rockets can't hit me, uh, no matter where they're coming from. And that's uh, a nice tactic to to do this uh, key, or well, this boss especially, a lot more smoothly. That's really nice. I think um, the viewers could see you in the corner, at least at the end. So, yeah, if you're a healer. Stand there. <laughs> or range DPS. I hear they right. sometimes play Mythic Plus as well. Nah. Haven't seen one in a while. Yeah, me neither. Uh, okay, so what did you want to say? <laughs> um, good question. I think I wanted to say that um, the people who are watching right now um, should definitely um, write in the comments um, topics that we can talk about since, um, for example, the pugging topic that we just talked about today um, is interesting in my opinion, but it's a topic where you can't really fill 40-45 um, minutes with. So there are some moments where we can't fill with um, talking and the more topics we have, the more stuff we can talk about. So. Um, we talked a little bit about Christmas, um, <laughs> since it just um, fitted in that moment. Um, but I think, yeah, the more topics you provide, the more stuff we can talk about, and I think that would be really cool for our series. So yeah. Yeah. another great thing would be that we actually talk about things that are interesting to you, and not <laughs> just things we imagine could be interesting to you. <laughs> Yeah, so feedback would help in that regard. I mean, we can talk about the weather all day or about our time in school, if that's interesting to you. But it would help that you tell us what you like. And we don't just talk about anything that comes to our mind and you don't really like listening to it. So, yeah, help us with that and give us some feedback. Yeah, and that concludes our key. Um, yeah. 
in, in, another really important thing to mention um, this week um, we will upload uh, yeah like we always do on Sundays and next week as well after that we'll we'll have to to see if we pre-record some uh, episodes for the holidays or if we uh, put the series uh, on hold for for a week or two uh, because Christmas and uh, New Year's and stuff like that but we'll keep you in the loop when we uh, find any decisions on that uh, regard doing, yeah and I, I think on that note we can end fine. this episode <laughs> yeah thank you very much for watching and listening of course I hope you liked the episode leave some feedback in the comments for the next one and with that being said I'll see you in the next one. Now, thank you for watching. Bye bye.